Taylor Townsend is in the building after an impressive victory. TT, TT, give me a little love. Well done. Thank you. You know, you're, you're just, you're, you're, you're making us all sad here. With all this winning, we're not going to be able to have you on the TC desk. <laughs> you're just out there on the court all the time winning. It's, um, it's sad, but we're, we're completely thrilled and happy for you. Unbelievable fight back today. Um, you, didn't, you didn't let go of setting two love down. No, I, um, it was crazy because I was, I had 40 love to make it, I think five all or something in the first and, or five, four, something like that, whatever. And then I was up 40 love and then I lost the game and no, it was four, three. And then I didn't feel like I let that go. And then it was carrying on and on and on. And I was so mad because I was like, come on, like, it's so much more tennis to play. Like, I just kept telling myself, like, it's so much more tennis to play. Like, let that go and let's move on. So it was like an internal battle that I felt like I was fighting for a while for like probably four or five games. And then finally I was just like, all right, like I felt like something just turned around. And then from that point, I just kind of settled and was relaxed. I mean, I was playing well. I was setting the points up the way that I wanted to, but you know, it was just one or two little things here and there. So um, it was a great mental battle for me today. That's what I'm the most proud of, the fact that I was able to overcome myself and kind of that internal voice that sometimes makes you doubt yourself. That's, that's, a, that's a huge thing, not just on the tennis court, but in life, mm -hmm. to be able to, like, let go of the past like yeah. that. Do you, do you have any tools that you go to or you just, you know, kept trying to be your best friend in there? Um, a little bit of both. I mean, tennis is so mental, so you know, like, you have to have some sort of guards up and barriers in place for something some of those things to come up but for me honestly i just tried to continue to kind of just redirect myself on what i wanted to do yeah. so i'm just like okay when i pull back like i said i'm setting the points up well i'm in control of the rallies like you're doing all the right things just keep going just keep plugging away those shots that you're missing by this much a little bit more and it'll go in so it was just like a little bit that i just had to commit more and and that's what i was trying to do and you know for me like i said it's just I'm really proud of the way that I just fought through. Like, yeah. these are the type of matches that really kind of test your character and test, like, you know, how much you're willing to fight and how deep you're willing to go in the brain. And, like, these are some of the things that I've been struggling with over the past couple of months. I'm really proud of the way that I was able to overcome myself in this match. Yeah, I mean, you, you showed a ton of heart out there. Um, Qualies, you won a tough three-set or two. Mm -hmm. Here you came back can't help but notice how your how your fitness has just improved so much it's kind of i guess allowing you to stay out there as long as you want to mm -hmm. um talk about some of the uh, work you've done to get to this level of fitness yeah well i mean when i first came back from my maternity leave i i told you guys i was like i'm not coming back unless i'm better than i was when when i started so or when i left so for me like i came back at a level higher than i did when i left the tour when i came back from after having aj so Ever since being back on tour, I have felt like I'm in a much better place in terms of fitness and conditioning. I think that now it's more of a belief that you can stay out and, and it's not about staying in the rally. For me now, it's about the shot quality. Hmm. Am I able to produce my type of shots every single time, 20 balls, 15 balls, over and over and over and over again? And that's what the top players do and that's what I've been studying and that's how I've been training. I've been really training to be able to hit really high quality balls over and over again. So it's one thing to just stay in the point and it's another thing to dictate and play the way that you want to play. So um, for me, we've been working really hard on that and it's something that is a constant work in progress, but I'm really happy that it's showing. And you know, I can, it's something that I can rely on. Like over the past couple of matches, even in Indian Wells, I said to myself, I can stay out here all day. And I truly believed it. And I knew that I could because I've proven it in practice over and over again. So for me, it's just that self-belief. Like, I know I can do it. I've done it plenty of times. I've done it plenty of training sessions. It just has to manifest itself in the match situations. And I think that's what's happening over the past couple of weeks. Yeah, it, it, it certainly has. I mean, you, you also got one of the most dynamic games out there. So <laughs> it's just, it's so much fun to watch. Thank you. you know, one, of the, one of the byproducts of winning so much is you got to figure out how you're going to celebrate. Now you you got some you got some great celebrations that yeah. we've seen. You and Ben <laughs> brought the noise at the U.S. <laughs> Open last year. So I'm just wondering, you know, I mean, Gail Monfils has yeah. his Wakanda Forever. Yeah. We got some epic celebrations here. So I want to know: Is TT gonna bring anything out the bag sometime soon? I mean, I've 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 given you guys a little bit of sauce. Like I've given you the little sprinkle. Like I gave you guys the little seasoning, the little dust. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> you know, I did the little this one, the little that was fantastic. Wipe your nose and you real know ones, that. real ones, real ones. No. Get a little this, <laughs> but I don't know. Honestly, I don't really think about that stuff. Like it just happens. Like all of the celebrations that I did all just happen in the moment. So it's one of those things that's just kind of like in me, and then it just ha- like it just comes out. So I can't tell you what's gonna happen, but. You know, whenever I see people and I do something, they'll, like, they'll do that. So I think that's one of my things for sure. You keep it spicy. Okay, we'll 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 stay uh, stay on a lookout for the celebrations. Um, I want to dig just a little bit more into your game because, again, you're one of those players who's able to attack. Not a lot of people are able to do that. Mm-hmm. For you, is it very much execution mindset? Like, listen, I'm just going to keep the offense up the whole time. Today you served in the high 70s mm-hmm. on first serve percentage, first serve percentage one. Mm-hmm. Is it really about that or have you really worked to bring up your weaknesses as well? It's both. It's has been one, identifying and really being clear on what my strengths are. So it's like, okay, my serve, my forehand, obviously my net game. So we continue to work on that stuff, but my weakness is, okay, where are the things that can be exploited? And that's what we drill a lot. Um, so the first serve, that's huge. You know, that's something that we're continuously working on. Points, first serve points one, like being in the 70s because all the top players are in those ranges of per, for, first serve per, percentage as well as the return percentage being kind of close to 50 is kind of where that sweet spot is for being able to break serve. So we look at the stats and all of that stuff, but yeah, I mean – It's definitely about a little bit of both. It's about making sure that my weaknesses become strengths or aren't so much of weaknesses and then my strengths be even more dangerous. So it's kind of a balance of both. But I think the things that have been attackable for me in the past, whereas maybe going out in and out of the corners or making move whatever isn't really something that's so much of an issue now. I feel like I'm more in control of that stuff. So I think my opponents have to figure out other ways <laughs> to try and beat me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be my worst enemy out there anymore. So that's that's my main goal. Love that you dig into the stats too, kind of combining everything out there in the prep. Yeah. Um, next round, you'll you'll take on the 25 seed, Elise Mertens. Okay. She's been playing great. She yeah. um, you know she won the doubles last week as well mm-hmm. in Indian Wells. Um, what are you going to do to continue to elevate your game for that one? I mean, just look at what I'm doing well and what can yeah. I can improve on. I mean. I've been playing basically every day, so um, I feel like in terms of match conditioning, I'm I'm ready to go. I honestly prepare and I just act like I'm going to play every single day. That's so I don't expect to have a day off. I don't even understand the scheduling. But for me, um, you know, my coach and I are going to look at film. We're going to look at and talk about the things that I did well in this match and really assess kind of like where I can improve take it into the practice session, whether that's practice or a match warm up and um, go from there. But I feel like the way that I'm playing and the path that I'm on is one in which, you know, I can really rely on myself and my game. And I think that what I'm doing is enough. And, um, you know, I just have to continue to put myself in the situations to win. So um, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great matchup. I mean, me and Elise have been knowing each other for a really long time. We play juniors against each other quite often. So, you know, we're very familiar with each other's game. So I'm excited for it. Keep it rolling, Tay Tay. Thanks. Come on. That's our girl. (laughs)